Welcome into 23ABC Sports. I'm Carrie Osep. The time has finally come here in Kern County where we can say that local teams are actually playing games as the Cal State Bakersfield basketball programs open up their seasons this week. With the men's team having not played a game, in 270 days. The men's team is starting the season with two games on the schedule, beginning with a season opener on the road against Santa Clara Wednesday night. Due to the shutdown in Santa Clara County, the runners will be facing the Broncos at the G League facilities in Santa Cruz, home to the Santa Cruz Warriors. While the goal is always to win the game, head coach Rod Barnes recognizes how much more there is for him and his staff to consider heading into this season. You know, you're so concerned about the welfare and mental health of our kids and you know just being in the right condition you know it's, it's just like i just mentioned you know we we we're not planning to play and all of a sudden we're going to play and now we gotta you know we ha we gotta get on the road and, and we gotta prepare so you you're thinking more of 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 mask and you know making sure we got enough uh, sanitizer and, and stuff that you normally don't have to be concerned about. The starting five will be all familiar faces heading into this first matchup because the lack of preparations is another concern for all teams who haven't had the same practice time as their opponents. While Santa Clara has already played three games, the runners have only had a total of five weeks of full practices and it wasn't even consistent. We're, we're behind. There's no question about that. We're not going to cry about it and that's why you're probably going to see us play a lot of guys. And hey, don't charge me if you see us being a little bit out of shape or guys not hustling and doing what we normally do early. Meanwhile, the women's team got their season going on Sunday, beating Pac-12 power Cal 60-52. to Not only a big win for the program overall, but a nice way to start a season of uncertainty. We played well. And I'm so excited. Just, you know, after the game, it was one of those exciting a humbling feeling because they've done something special, but they've also done something special on the other side, which was get the season up and going. Garces grad and sophomore guard Lexus Green put up a game high 15 points on the way to the runners win and dished out a game high five assists. All that earning CSUB's first ever Big West Player of the Week honors. Throughout the years, we've had to keep our great, great kids here at home. And then for her to have the game that she had the impact that she had on the game, um, and, and it it just it just goes to show you what you know our local kids here are able to do. In the NBA, LeBron James re-upped his contract with Los Angeles Lakers, agreeing to a two-year, eighty-five million dollar extension with the team that just recently won an NBA championship. James averaged twenty-five point three points last season and led the NBA in assists with ten point two per game. He will be 39 when that contract ends. Now moving over to the NFL for the first ever Wednesday afternoon game for the league. The Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Baltimore Ravens 19 to 14 in a game that was postponed three times due to a COVID-19 related outbreak in Baltimore. The Steelers remain undefeated at 11 and 0. Ben Roethlisberger threw for 266 yards while the Ravens lost their third straight game. While we know from Tuesday's news of the Kern High School District suspending athletic activity on campus until further notice, and the California Interscholastic Federation announcing a stop in full practices and competition until new guidance is released in January, how COVID-19 has continued to impact our high school athletes. Speaking with Central Section Commissioner Ryan Toss following that news, he says everyone will still be playing the waiting game until around mid-January, but he'll keep planning different possibilities for seasons if things don't change. You know, if we are at that point in time and we still don't have updated guidance, we're still not able to practice as we wish or play games, then we might have to consider things like, you know, either a shortened regular season with playoffs or not having playoffs and trying to have as long of a regular season as we possibly can. And here's hoping for the best. For 23ABC Sports, I'm Carrie Osep.